this Brody outside with I got cash, don't need no vibe, nigga Catch me a vibe What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Trey Love You know what I'm saying? We back at it again with another video Listen, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to mix vocals like Nardo Wick, Future, um, and any type of just drill sound, you know what I'm saying? I was just recording this video, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a quick little tutorial and uh, to show y'all how I got this effect and shit going. So, first things first, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to go download these presets at Mix and Magic, you know what I'm saying? Take 20% off using code MAGIC. But besides that, let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. So, we just got a few bars going. Um, the main thing you want to do is you want to get the key in the BPM of the beat. So, we're going to drag the beat into Virtual DJ. It gave us 77 BPM C sharp minor. And if you ever get a um, a key that doesn't say minor, you know, you want to go ahead and convert the major to, to the relative minor, and then that'll, that'll you know, help you guys out. Other than that, um, so we have uh, we have the beat ready. We got the vocals ready. And uh, really, it's just a lead vocal preset chain. Pretty simple. So this is what we got. This is what it sounds like. So something like that. Uh, I feel like the main thing we got going is uh the vocals are you know prominent. They're they're cutting through, um, and then the reverb is just kind of having that extra delay and, and just giving it a nice little sound. So let's go ahead and mute the reverb. This is my reverb track over here. I'll go ahead and name it for you guys. Go ahead and mute it. Um, and then let's just kind of break down the lead vocals. So I'm gonna turn everything off and then we'll go ahead and kind of start it from scratch. So first things first, we get the auto tune, right? We got the auto tune C sharp minor. Um, retune speed all the way up. And like I've said in many videos, the the way the auto tune is gonna affect your voice is kind of apparent to your voice. And you know, you, you gotta be able to adjust your voice as you're recording to make it sound uh, correct, if that makes sense. So. Um, Retune speed all the way up. You can have it wherever or whatever you you know you generally use. Um, but that's just what I use. Um, humanize. Don't really mess with that. If you're having a lot of like robotic -y type sounds, you can go ahead and boost it up. It's not really going to do too much, but it will kind of help you a little bit. The next thing would be is the deductive EQ. So um, for the deductive EQ, I'm actually going to go ahead and just recreate it. Um, so I'm going to delete everything, and it's actually kind of simpler. You just kind of start fresh. What you want to do is you want to do a sweeping kind of listen for the perfect sound, you know? You know, you don't want nothing too low, you don't want nothing too high, but you want it to be perfect. So usually in between like 50 hertz and 120 hertz is gonna, gonna be good. Um, but definitely go ahead and listen and just do a sweep at first. So let's let's just listen and uh, I'm gonna give you guys an example of what I'm looking for. And another thing too, so the amount of EQ you want to take out is kind of dependent on the song as well. You know what I'm saying? You can go ahead and just keep a preset, but if you want to mix a song in, it's dependent on the song. You know what I'm saying? So like for this song, this particular song, I want to have more low end in my voice. Uh, my voice is pretty not high pitched, but it, it has a lot of clarity and stuff with it. Uh, so I'm going to try to kind of make up for that. And then you guys will see on the additive EQ of like, you know, how that works. So something like this, 66 hertz should be fine. We're gonna add another little uh, deductive EQ. Kinda make it a nice little smooth, man. Something like this. Switch. Yes, 
catch me a bite. Might just catch me a bite. Yeah. Hop inside the G way. We got choppers and we finna fucking spin back. We gon' hit shit. Niggas getting toe tag. We try and drill shit. Hit them with that kill switch. Niggas ain't heal shit. We gon' get on real quick. So, the detective EQ is, uh, like I said, the way I'm doing it is just kind of simple. Um, you guys can make it like it was before, or you guys can go ahead and just kind of make slight adjustments. Um, let me turn the the beat off really quick. You guys can hear. It's not a very, um, it's not a, it's not an extreme difference from the just the raw vocal, but it's enough to kind of blend it in with the beat a little bit, and make it sit better. Yeah, Brody outside with. I got cash. Don't need no vibe, nigga. Yeah, catch me a body. Might just catch me a body. Yeah, hop inside the G way. We got choppers and we finna fucking spin back. We gon' hit shit. Niggas getting toe tag. We try and drill shit. Hit them with that kill switch. Niggas ain't feel shit. We gon' get them real quick. Real quick. Fuck my ops, stay the real bitch. Made a honey off the back end. Bro, thought I was. Yeah, Brody outside with it. So with the additive EQ, you seen I just added another little low end boost. Um, this is like at the 100, 100 hertz range. Um, basically, you want it at the very end um, just to bring some low end back. You know what I'm saying? Have it sit and just adjust it a little bit. Um, then we have these other two additive EQs. It's one at 1800 hertz, one at uh, 9400 hertz. And uh, this majority of my clarity, this is going to help fill in some of the kind of spots just because uh you know we're taking out the low end we're boosting the high end super super like a lot you know what i'm saying it's just gonna kind of blend it in and kind of make everything balanced Get on real quick, real quick. Fuck my eyes, stay the real bitch. Stay the honey off the back on. So something like that's pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna come to our, uh, our compression. As you guys seen, I had it turned on already just because when we're uh, playing the vocals back, we wanna be able to hear them. And uh, I haven't really mixed it in, but it's a decent decent little thing going. So uh, first things first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my release on auto, you know. Um, then I, I like to do a hard knee. You can do hard, soft, it kinda depends on the vocal to be honest. Um, and then we're just gonna start it off with the hard ratio to see what sounds good. Uh, so let me play it back really quick, and then I'm gonna lower the threshold. Well, really, just adjust the threshold to sit in a middle low peak. So you'll see as the vocals are playing through. So like right here, this is the middle low peak right there. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna adjust the uh, output level to sit with the beat so i'm gonna put my mix in mono right here we're just gonna go to our master track right here put in mono now i'm gonna play it back really quick something like that's pretty good uh the next thing is we're gonna add our ds on so I use Waves DS, you can use any DS or honestly, um, but I'm going to open up Melsh and then around negative 32 to like negative 25, somewhere around there is going to be a great spot to uh, have your, you know, your threshold at, um, just so it's not too much. And you'll notice when you're like, if you drag it down all the way, you'll notice that it's taking a lot of the S's out. So you just kind of want it to blend, um, uh, blend pretty good. And then, you know, not, not be too harsh. So let's play it, see what it's sounding like. Brody outside with it. I got cash, don't need no vibe, nigga. Catch me a body. 
might just catch me a bird. Yeah. Hop inside the G way. We got choppers and we finna fucking spin back. We gon' hit niggas getting toe tagged. We try to drill shit, hit them with that kill switch. Niggas ain't feel shit, we gon' get on real quick. Next thing is we got the reverb. So with the reverb, we're using Valhalla Vintage Verb. We got the color on now, mode on random space. First time I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 60,000 divided by the BPM. It's gonna give us seven, 779 point something something, right? So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put 7.79. I'm gonna divide that number by four. It gives us 194. Um, and then I'm just kind of move the decimal over and uh, it gives us a nice little reverb. I turn the attack knob down and kind of just set up my EQ on it. I was wanted to be very like reverby, so I didn't add a parametric EQ or adjust the EQ down here. Um, but uh, you know, I just lowered the uh, bass multiplier, boosted the bass frequency up a little bit, and it uh, it gave me a nice little reverb. And this is what it sounded like. Hop inside the G way. We got choppers and we finna fucking spin back. We gon' hit niggas getting toe tagged. We try to drill shit, hit them with that kill switch. Niggas ain't feel shit. We don't get on real quick. Real quick. Fuck my eyes, stay the real bitch. Stay the honey off the back end. Yeah, bro, the outside with me. I got cash, don't need no vibe, nigga. Yeah, catch me a vibe. Hey, but uh, that pretty much wraps up the you know vocal tutorial. You know, this is how to make your own presets. So if you guys did enjoy this, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to play it back a few times. Let me know if you guys like the uh, the vocal preset we just made, or if you guys like the original that I played it with. You know, but other than that, it's your boy Trey Love. Don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'm out. Peace.